my name is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. The past two weekends was the VIB sale at Sephora and well, I went shopping. So I'm a VIB Rouge, which means that you get access to both weekends. I actually participated in both weekends of the sale. So basically we're just going to be going through what I purchased during the sale. Um, certain things are repurchases, certain things are new things that I've seen other people trying and um, yeah, hopefully it'll give some inspiration to people who are looking to buy new stuff. This is what I bought. First thing that I got is a repurchase. I love this product. I've been using this for years now, and I use it every day that I'm putting makeup on. It is the... <clears throat> hold on, it's a mouthful. Eye Duty Triple Remedy Instantly Brighten, Depuff, and Smoothen by First Aid Beauty. I put this first and then I put my concealer on top. I feel like if I just go in straight with concealer underneath my eyes, my under eye area feels super dry and I feel like this just helps brighten and it just kind of helps out the concealer a little bit. You dab the product underneath your eyes and then you kind of iron it on. That is a repurchase, I always have to have one on backup. Next up is a face mask. It is the Flash Mud Mask by Glam Glow. This one claims to be a brightening treatment. So I've previously tried the Super Mud mask by Glam Glow and I really liked that one but I just figured you know I'd branch out and try something else from their collection. Oh that actually smells quite nice. It's always a plus when your face products smell nice. <laughs> Lately my skin's been doing pretty well you know. <laughs> Knock on wood. I don't want to jinx that. I went ahead and bought myself the trio pack of the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. The name's kind of funny. Supposedly you're supposed to pronounce it Boom Boom. I think I read that somewhere but let's be honest like that's bum bum. You don't have to just put it on your bum. That's not how I use it. I put it everywhere on my body. I've been using it at the gym after taking a shower. Oh, it smells divine. The lasting power on this is great. Like you'll smell it like hours later. Trio pack rather than the big tub because, you know, thinking I'm gonna be keeping it in my gym bag. I don't wanna have the huge tub to carry around. This one's a little bit smaller. And then if ever in the future I run out of these and I want to buy myself some more, I can buy the big tub and scoop it out and put it in the smaller ones and then, you know, it'll make it a bit more travel friendly for my gym bag. Next, you know how you have like the points at Sephora and you can like redeem little minis and stuff? So I redeemed some points and I got the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara and the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara because you know I like trying the mini mascaras from Sephora before committing to the big tube I'm quite happy buying the ones from the drugstore if I'm gonna try a high-end mascara I'm gonna do the minis first adding to the list of repurchases during the sale I got myself some more everlasting liquid lipsticks from Kat Von D. I repurchased Lolita and Bow and Arrow Those are my two favorites from the Kat Von D um, Everlasting liquid lipstick line Lolita is a classic I love Lolita. My mom has Lolita and it looks great on her too. And bow and arrow, I just think it's a really nice a darker nude type option. But I think they're very wearable, really appropriate for work and stuff like that too. I finally got my hands on the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation Stick. I got mine in the color Warm Ivory. It's a triangular shape. I have really high hopes for this because everyone is raving about it and I'm finally jumping on the bandwagon. So yes, Hourglass. You better be good because you're expensive. I got another lipstick product. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Long Wear Lipstick. This is in the color Suck It. It smells like your typical vanilla frosting cupcake sweetness that, you know, a lot of liquid lipsticks have. This type of red is totally up my alley. It's kind of like a muted red slash burgundy. Lolita is kind of this color too, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's really similar to Lolita. Oops. <laughs> I just realized that I never showed bow and arrow. There you have it, folks. The last thing that I got at the sale is the reason why the bag is so big. It is a makeup traveling kit. You can carry it easily. You have a spot at the top for all of your makeup brushes. You have this little pouch and it's lined with plastic on the inside. And then you have these two little cubes that go on the inside. Not gonna lie, I was inspired to buying this by Kathleen Lights. Um, she just recently did a video of what she's bringing in her makeup travel bag and she said that she had just gotten it at Sephora and I was like, oh, I need that. 
It is actually from the Sephora collection, so like Sephora's brand, and I just think that it's perfect. That is everything that I got at the Sephora VIB sale. If you've tried any of these products or you're thinking of picking up any of these products, I would love to know. So let me know in the comments down below. That is everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!